can ghost call people by way of electronic devices, such as telephones and cell phones in order to get a message to loved ones. Some say that it's possible. In this video we count down 5 creepy phone calls that people believe have come from the dead. A paranormal investigator received a call to investigate a house. The investigator was surprised that the man on the other end of the phone could have found his number, for it was a new cell phone and the number hadn't yet been given out. Still, the investigator followed up with the phone number the man had given him during their brief conversation. Upon calling the number, the investigator found a woman at the other end of the phone. She quickly informed the investigator that the name of the man he'd asked her about was her husband, who had died a decade previously. Her husband couldn't have made the phone call to the investigator. Rattled, the investigator decided to call the number back that the man had called him from and received an earful of static, followed by an abrupt termination of the call. This happened two times. So the investigator then called the woman back and explained the strange story. He was astonished to find out the old static field phone number he had dialed was indeed the woman's and her deceased husband's old telephone number from the house he had died in when it burnt down. A terrible train wreck occurred on the 12th of September 2008 in California's San Fernando Valley. A Metrolink commuter train carrying 225 riders collided with a Union Pacific freight train. In what is now referred to as the Chatsworth Crash, 135 people were injured. Of those injured, 87 people were hospitalised and 25 died. According to the National Transportation Safety Board which investigated the cause of the collision, the Metrolink train ran through a red signal before entering a section of single track where the opposing freight train had been given the right of way by the train dispatcher. The National Transportation Safety Board faulted the Metrolink train's engineer for the collision concluding that he was distracted by text messages he was sending while on duty. One of the fatalities on the Metrolink train was 49-year-old Charles Pegg, a Delta Airlines customer service representative from Salt Lake City. He and his fiancée had put off marriage until Pegg could relocate to the Los Angeles area where she lived. Charles died on impact but his body was not immediately found. During those hours, Pegg's mobile phone made a series of calls to his fiancée and many family members. 35 calls were made from Pex's phone to members of his family and inner circle, all of which consisted of a few minutes of silence before disconnection. As the calls continued, authorities used Pex's cell signal in order to locate his body, which they eventually did one hour after the last call. Pex's phone was never found. In 2008, a man from England shared a different ghost story with the media. This ghost story concerned his wife contacting him by the way of his cell phone. Not only did Frank claim to have received phone calls from the dead, but further claimed that his deceased wife and son started to appear in his home. Frank's son died from a brain tumour, and his wife died three months later due to a heart attack. The odd story of the ghost phone call began when Frank noticed he had a missed call on his mobile phone, but the cell phone never rang. The call came from his empty home a place where he no longer wished to visit after his family had passed away so tragically. When he entered his home, he immediately recognised the smell of his wife's cigarettes and her perfume. Frank says she always had a cell phone with her and they even buried her with it. Not only has Frank answered strange phone calls, but he's even received text messages that he believes to be from her. In April of 2011, a YouTube user uploaded a recording of a voicemail she received. From the description, we learn that her grandfather died on December the 23rd, 2010. The voicemail was received in March, and the user claimed that her phone only rang once before the voicemail was recorded. What she heard on the voicemail was chilling. The white noise in the background is broken by the faint whisper of the word grandpa. Saved message. Saved message. Author Dean Koontz was subject to a spooky phone call of his own. Koontz was in the office when the phone rang. The voice on the other line was faint and female, and it only spoke two words, be careful. Koontz asked who it was. His number was unlisted and it was a very strange way to start a conversation. The voice did not answer, but just repeated the warning three more times. After he hung up the phone, Coons reflected that the voice sounded eerily like the voice of his deceased mother. 
Two days after this phone call, Koontz was visiting his father in the facility where he lived. Apparently, his father had purchased a fishing knife and sharpened the blade to become razor sharp. When Koontz entered the room, his father moved to stab him with the knife. A few onlookers saw the altercation and called the police. Koontz was able to wrestle the knife away and stepped into the hallway just as the police arrived. The police told him to drop the knife, but Koontz tried to tell them that he wasn't the one they wanted. They asked a second time and he thought of the phone call. He realized that they were going to shoot if he didn't comply. He dropped the knife, believing that the phone call was a warning. So that was five mysterious phone calls from the dead. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.